field's all dissed. I'm gonna put some fertilizer now. I got 150 pounds of triple 19 I just dumped in here. Triple 19. This whole field is gonna be corn. So I'm putting in the fertilizer now and there's no rain in the forecast. So I'm gonna wait a few days and then I'm gonna come back and what I'm gonna do is broadcast the corn seed because I don't have a corn planter. And then I'm gonna come in and I'm gonna disc everything under. So the fertilizer should be in the ground. We'll try to flip those corn seeds under. And then if the corn takes and germinates, I'll come back when it's like six inches or so and I'll try to top, top dress it with some urea later, some uh, 50 later if it grows so and i got all my electric fence stuff for the deer because they'll just decimate it as soon as it grows so i think i'm going to walk that around and get that all ready too Got the tractor fired up with the disc and I got all my seeds that we're going to put up there in this food plot here. I'm going to go up broadcast the seeds and I'm going to disc it all in. Get this started right before dark. It's It was so stinking hot today you couldn't do anything. I'm walking. I spread this fertilizer a couple days ago. But I can still see it sitting on top. I didn't mix it in. I'm going to do it all at one time. This is going to be an experiment, I guess, with this corn. You can see how dry it is. There's no rain in the forecast for 10 days, and i got to get it planted. I can't stay here, so I've, I've got to plant it no matter what. So here it is. I got it from a... I got the seeds from Haas Tools. It was free shipping, so I got the seeds from there. But this is the corn I'm going to plant. It's Reed's Yellow Dent Corn. And if you can see the germination rate on that, it's 92%. But on this bag, it says 85%. So they're they're different uh, germination rates. This is and this is an heirloom corn. So the plan is that if this does grow, I'm going to save some of the cobs and just dry them out and save the seeds to plant next year, so I don't have to keep buying this stuff. But also, what we're going to do in here, in case this corn doesn't work, I bought a bag of bird food. Now this is black oil sunflower seeds and I've seen people say that if you just throw these sunflower seeds, just a bird seed, into the ground, it actually grows the sunflower. So I'm going to broadcast some sunflowers in with the corn just to see. And down on the, along the bottom in the wetter area, I've got some heirloom pumpkins because we threw some pumpkins out here late in the year and the deer, we lined up the pumpkins and the deer actually ate the pumpkins totally, didn't leave one piece. They left. They ate the whole thing. So these are also heirloom um, pumpkins, two different kinds, small ones and the big ones. And I'm gonna just try to hand plant some in a line along the bottom there and see if it works. I think this hopper is, I forget how, how many pounds this hopper holds. I wanna say 20 pounds. And that's what these bags are. We'll see. Uh, always remember to close it before you start. I made that mistake of leaving that open with brassicas. I had half the bag on the ground before I closed it. Hey, it was close. That's a 20 pound bag. It almost filled it. Filled it. Wow, if it was smaller seeds, it probably would have. 
I probably would have filled it. Now, I've got more corn, but it's for a different area. So I'm gonna to try to go light and cover the whole area. And then if I can, I'll overlap later. But I wanna to try to make sure I get all of it with this. It's just too expensive. So it looks like the corn from me broadcasting is covering like every six inches there's a kernel. Which is pretty good. Now one thing I learned with these with this uh, chest spreader here is if you like just now if you stop this handle as you're walking, especially with soybeans, man, the kernels will get stuck in the spinny thing and jam you up. So you cannot stop turning. And I'm telling you, with soybeans and this chest spreader, don't stop turning that handle because, see right there, you can see. You gotta go backwards. The corn's actually getting unjammed pretty easy. But soybeans get uh, stuck underneath the wheel or the spinny thing in the middle. And you, you can almost break it to get it out. Like going back and forth with the handle to try to get that one soybeans that's stuck out of there. I got the corn in going pretty well actually I'm gonna save one bag because I walked this so good I bet you I got a corn kernel every three inches on the, on that field covering that field every three inches so I'm gonna save that other bag for the other field that's bigger but now I put these black sunflower seeds and what this is I don't even know if this spreader can spread it without crushing them, but we'll see. I thought about putting a line like in the middle, but I'm just going to broadcast them as fast as I can and let them sprinkle over the whole field. Let's see if let's see if this thing can do this. If I open it all the way up, what it looks like. Barely coming out. And I think it is splitting some of them. It's a light seed and they kind of, there it goes. I don't know, we'll see. It's going to take a while, it seems like. All right, we got all the corn in and we broadcast the sunflower seeds. The sunflower seeds in that spreader, it took too long, man. I was cranking and cranking. It was just throwing out like 10 or 15. They're so light and they, it, they're not heavy enough to go down and get thrown. So I was just grabbing in with my hand and just going like this. And it was, it was spreading them pretty nice. So there's probably gonna be strips of them if they grow. But take a look at this ground here. If you can see the corn, I covered, this is almost two acres, and it looks like there's corn every three inches. And I used, 
let's see, how many bags? Five 20 pound bags? I think I used five 20 pound bags, so 100 pounds of corn, and it's the yellow dent corn, and it did almost two acres that good, mixed in with the sunflowers. So now what I'm doing is gonna, I'm gonna disc it in, and I'm gonna see if the disc can actually plant it. Now, I don't know how deep sunflowers gotta be planted, but that was just a bag of bird seed from Walmart. People say it grows. If you plant black sunflower seed, or black oil sunflower seeds, they grow. So it might put them in too deep. If some might grow, I don't know, we'll see. But let's compare what the ground looks like before and after if it actually pushes this corn in the ground by disking. All right, so this is it. We are done right before dark. And let's take a look here. What it did. I'll try to move slow so you can see. Every once in a while, I'll see a corn kernel. Every once in a while. Like here's, here's a nice section here. I don't see any corn, here's one one corn kernel so i i got them i got them in now the question is do i get them in too deep because i was throwing some dirt so but as many as i had in here man something's just got to grow so we're going to come back tomorrow and we'll set up our electric fence i got all the stuff down here ready to go the grounding rods are still there from last year focuses and I was tempted on coming back with a chain drag to get these ruts out to smooth this field out but I kind of like it ruts like that to hold the water in it maybe the water just won't run off so I think I'm gonna leave it to see so this field is corn sunflower seeds and I didn't film me planting the pumpkins but I don't know about three feet in there's a row that the disc made and I just every five feet all the way down I put pumpkin seed from one end all the way down to the other because the afternoon Sun comes this way so if this does grow 
the pumpkins will get some sun and maybe crawl out this way into the grass so all right we got to move on to the next field tomorrow and do the same thing but much bigger